I was out here just literally 10 seconds ago and there were no bees. I come back and there's a huge cloud here. So I think what we're seeing here is a swarm moving into that beehive there on the front left. There's two over there on the left. The one on the far left is hard to see. There's already a swarm that moved into that hive maybe a week or two ago. And um, so, so it's, not, it's not swarming. I don't think it is anyway. It's not absconding or leaving. Hopefully not. I think this is a swarm coming into that second, the one right there in the foreground. So let's watch this thing coalesce. And this is like how a swarm forms too. It makes this big cloud and they get into a ball up in the tree, then they, when they find out, when they decide where they're going to go, they form this vortex and off this vortex flies and they arrive and now they're going to coalesce again inside the hive. Pretty cool, so. Um, there's a good book about this, about how swarms work and how they choose hives. Uh, I think it's called The Beehive Democracy, written by uh, a guy out of like uh, Vermont or something, one of the universities up there. It's embarrassing, I've read the book, I'm just not remembering off the top of my head. And the whole yard, I mean, you can see bees everywhere. And they're even around me. I'm not wearing any protective equipment right now. They're usually, I understand, not aggressive. They're in this state. If they do become aggressive, <laughs> I'll quickly uh, get out of the way. But let me move over here. If I get around, yeah, not a lot of space there. So these are just thousands of bees coming, saying, hey, new home here. And the queen is among those. So this means that um, a swarm sent out scouts to look for locations. And to some degree, science, we've established what I, how bees decide that and it relates to, you know, whether it's a cavity and how big the cavity is for the most part. Um, the scent of prior bees is also a positive factor and, and if a scout finds a place they like, they come back and inform the hive about the location and convey their level of excitement and then uh, additional scouts will go and look at the same location. Uh, the first scout having told them the location through their dance. And uh, if subsequent scouts get excited, it kind of snowballs and uh, they make, at some point, they make a decision and they go to that place. However, um, if the subsequent scouts decide that it's not good, they're not going to convey their excitement when they come back and the bees will not go to that location. pretty fascinating thing in nature here. And so actually, those two hives were set out for the purpose of exactly this, attracting swarms. And uh, I'm not going to keep the bees here, I'm going to give them to my father and my brother. And uh, we'll set out uh, some more traps here. And you know, these aren't really traps. If you, you know, when I think of a swarm trap, I think of a box specifically made for the purpose of capturing a swarm and it's um, not usually a Langstroth hive like, like these are. Um, but uh, um, 
we'll set something up and uh, see if I can capture some more swarms. It's been a, if you've been following the news in Texas, it's been extraordinarily rainy and cloudy. Uh, during the month of May, we had our all-time record for rainfall here in the Dallas area. And uh, I'm expecting that there'll be late swarms. And so we're, we're hitting our real first hot sunny patch here. And what are we seeing? We've seen that I've caught two swarms, and one of my friends uh, on Facebook, I've noted that he just recently caught a, a swarm in a trap. So uh, I expect to see uh, more swarms um, coming late, and I got late swarms last year as well. So this is the lazy man's way to get bees. Why go out and get them? Just bring them, just let them come to you. Of course, you know, I'm not as invested as some people. I'm not doing this for a business, and... I'm not actually looking to build uh, my bees, my number of hives, due to in part my inability to keep bees at my own house. That's a long story, we won't need to get into that. I mean, obviously I am keeping bees at my house, but it's just temporarily and um, I'll get them out of here pretty quick. And it is legal, there's, there's no, there's nothing, uh, there's no legal issue that's preventing me, but I'm just being considerate to all around, uh, and I've mentioned this on my blog, uh, had some issues with uh, where the bees go to get water and them kind of bothering people in that respect, not not stinging people, but just bothering people, so um, I've taken the road to decide that I'm not going to keep bees at my house because of that issue. <clears throat> I understand there's at least two, two beekeepers in my neighborhood, and this may be from their hive. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, one beekeeper bequesting another, and certainly I've, my hives have thrown off swarms in the past, I've seen them go. Or uh, rather, I've come out to my hives and said, where did all, you know, half my bees are gone, or two-thirds of my bees are gone, so... Um, my father's a lot better about keeping his bees. He'll do splits and things like that, and I've done that too, but uh, I've not generally been diligent about uh, keeping my bees from swarming. I've never removed swarm cells, and my father has a theory that when bees want to swarm, they want to swarm. You can't just go clipping swarm cells. That is the the new queens, the... the uh, you pay for the new queens if you can't just kill them and prevent swarming in his opinion so we're seeing that the cloud has mostly dis I mean to a large degree dissipated they're still out there and they're coalescing here on this hive right in front of us let me hold this still And I'm getting a little bit closer. I understand that my father and my brother are up to over 20 hives, maybe around 22, 23. Started with about 10 this year. Increased their numbers through collecting swarms, cutouts, splits. Virtually the entire increase my brother got last year was uh, from the swarms that I gave him, that I collected out of my backyard here. So, uh, I'll be collecting some honey, you know, I owe you. And I was actually just on my way when this happened to going to uh, East Dallas to check on my one hive when this when I noticed this so uh, pretty cool
These bees will go into action very quickly once they've moved in. Probably uh, by tonight there will be comb. Well, actually I think there's already comb in there, but if there wasn't comb, they would actually start comb now. I mean, by tonight there would be comb. There could be an egg laid, certainly within a day, by the queen, if there was no comb. I think there's plenty of comb in there. In fact, one of those two hives actually had quite a bit of honey in it uh, that was robbed out. Um, well, there are two dead outs, and uh, there was some, my father said there was a decent amount of honey in one of them, and I said he could have it, but he didn't want it, so I just left it in the hive. And uh, it was robbed out. And uh, I'm going to back off a little bit. Got to be investigating me a little bit. Maybe saying, uh, you know, we got to, we just moved in here. You know, who are you? Clint Eastwood, you know. Get off my lawn. Didn't go after me or anything, but just buzzing around my head a little bit. It's almost just, you know, maybe dozens of bees now flying up in the air uh, versus thousands before. So it'd be interesting to know where this swarm came from, how far they traveled. Uh, what, what's the temperament of these bees? Docile or aggressive? Don't know yet. I won't mess with this, I'll just let them do their thing. Um, don't want to disturb them. Looking at the other hive on the right, there's some traffic going in and out. You probably can't see that in the shadows, but you know, there's some bees coming and going. You can tell when bees uh, know where their home is, they, they know where they're coming in, they know where they're going out. It's very direct. When bees are robbing, they don't know exactly where they're coming in. And they'll hover and buzz and I guess use their chemo sensors. So. That was definitely a bee that was telling me to get away, so. Well, that's it, pretty much here. That's what it looks like. I don't want to get stung. There's a bee kind of going after me a little bit. Um, well, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> a swarm coming out of nowhere, like a tornado of bees, and <laughs> same bee. As I was so eloquently saying, that's what it looks like. Um, forget it. this bee doesn't like my elegant statement, so I'm just gonna cut it off there. Get my stuff in a minute and head to East Dallas and check on my other bees. And that's what a swarm is like.